Good evening and welcome to the third and final show at Crafters TV here on this, I was going to say fine Saturday, the Saturday we'll just call it, it's just a Saturday here up in the North East, um, it's lovely to have your company, my name's Debbie Robinson of course, um, and where have you been if you haven't been with us already, is this your first show today or are you on to your third show or your second show, um, do let me know, do let me know, uh, but we have got, because you're probably thinking well hang on a minute, we had a craft along earlier on, but we are going to treat you because we have got another craft along show for you right now, um, which I think is a fabulous idea. Our lovely Sarah came up with an idea of having a craft along weekend, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, because of course, we've had one, we're on to our second one. We may have got one or two more for you tomorrow, but we'll tell you a little bit more about that later on in the show. Um, loads to tell you if you've only just joining us. We've got lots of things going off on the website, which we'll go over to in a, a moment or two. Um, we also have a very special guest that's joining us as well this evening a face you may recognize you'll recognize the outfits because uh, it's becoming a little bit uh, uh, is it infamous is that the right word for his yes, lovely outfits infamous. yeah absolutely so do stay tuned and i'll introduce him just in a moment or two uh, but of course um i'm not here on my own um it's still the same crew in my ear where i've got the lovely dean with the dirty chuckle he's got one of those <laughs>, laughs that you can't help but laugh when you hear him laugh um, so our producer D dean is steering the good ship ctv our gorgeous charlotte is in our ear who does all those fabulous close-ups and everything else keeps all this tech running for us and she says hello uh, the lovely james very quietly today because i barely have seen him michelle i don't know about you uh, well oh there you hey. go there. <laughs> he is there bless him he's busy busy away doing something else a different side to the job he's doing today um of course now social media superstars wise we've had rachel most of the day We've now got our lovely Victoria. Um, so Victoria is looking after all the comments. This is an interactive channel, um, a very interactive. Any questions, any comments, anything you want to talk, talk about, talk. Do let us know. Is there any subject you want to cover today? We've been getting you loads to uh, tune in with earlier on. Um, you might want to talk about something about this Saturday evening. Uh, so do make sure you comment along, whether you're on Facebook, book i'll say it the right way around or youtube i usually mix the two together yeah usually comes out wrong face tube face and tube and yeah exactly yeah it doesn't <laughs> sound right does it um now <clears throat> you may have heard dulcet tones in the background there <laughs> and i am absolutely thrilled it's been a fabulous day it's not over for me and her either because going back to the house later yeah uh, but it has been absolutely incredible today because we never get to do this we never get to do this. We never get to work together. And this is not our first show or our second show. It's our third show. And it is, of course, the fabulous and the wonderful and talented. And I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it again. She is the queen of our craft alongs. And it is the fabulous, gorgeous Michelle McCarthy. Good evening, Michelle. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I've now realised the little curtsy. I like that. It's your thing. It's definitely it is, your thing. I, even when I go to my mother in law's and she's like, hello. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what are we doing in this craft along, Michelle? Can we have a little sneaky peek? Yes, absolutely. So it's the three-in-one create card dies. Um, it says three-in-one. Really, it should be something like a 20-in-one because there's so many different things that you can do with these. But just using the sleigh, I thought we've done lots of Halloween. Um, we're going to use the sleigh this time. And it's literally Santa's sleigh. And it's just literally got the ability to sort of shoot off I absolutely into the sky. love that. It's like it's floating across the rooftop there. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely fabulous. I mean, this is a huge card. It's an eight by eight. If you've got different items in your stash that are a lot smaller, you can still do this with that. I created so those the witch's hat. Yes. Um, I used that, um, and I created something very similar a few weeks. Oh three or four weeks ago now, um, where I'd, I had the witch's hat coming up, but her legs dangling out of the bottom. So the witch's hat came um, sort of up and down. So she had more dangly legs, less dangly legs. <laughs> and, and that was a lot of fun. But if you've got a sentiment that you want to hide, it's absolutely brilliant because you can have whatever it is down below, you can lift it up and it reveals a sentiment because the mechanism to create this is very, very simple. Fantastic, and I can't wait to get started with that. Uh, we'll go through the list of the products in a second. In fact, actually, Michelle, should we get that done now? Yes. Let's yeah. do that now. So uh, if you want to join the craft along, these are the things that you're going to need. Take it away, Michelle. Uh, so your Christmas sleigh, three-in-one creator card die set, your Christmas cheer, 12 by 12 <clears throat> paper pad, 
Uh, Frosty and Bright A4 Luxury Mixed Card Pad. Uh, your Centura Pearl, I use the double-sided ivory. Um, some acetate, some gems from your own stash. Then additionally, you will need your Gemini Midi or larger. Uh, the big score scoreboard, some Kalal Tacky Glue, a tape pen and a dotty tape pen, red liner tape and some foam pads. Thank you very much, Michelle. Very Thank welcome. you. So I'm going to let our Michelle get to, get ready to get started. You've got the in ingredients. Let's <laughs> call it that. You've got the ingredients for this fabulous craft along. Um, however, we're missing one very special ingredient. We are. Mm. The icing yeah, on the cake. we are. So I think we need to do a click of the finger like this. Ready? Yay! Wow! Good evening, Crafters TV. Isle of Wight calling. <laughs> Good evening, Gaz. How are you, my lovely? I am very well. Thank I am very well. Thank you so much. You are very it's welcome. A it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. And I know that the last time I was here on a craft along, I think it was a craft along, you were the guest, weren't it you? Was. I was. Yes, you was, yeah. You um, can't escape me. <laughs> We wouldn't want to, guys. We wouldn't want to. You're always a joy to have on the show. However, we did we did allude at the beginning about becoming infamous for a certain outfit. Um, oh yes. Do you want to give us a twirl? Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> you forced me. <laughs> you forced there we me. go. Look, there Look, we go. Amazing. I, I love, love it. that. Absolutely love it. You started that challenge with our lovely um, hashtag go live granny yeah. about being the best dressed there. And I think I think you might have just edged it again, uh, Gaz, um, with your like. dunga shorts. They are dunga shorts, yes. <laughs> yes, correct. The, the best word in the English language, dunga shorts. It's the cross, cross between the dungarees and the shorts and bring them together and you've got Gaz's very own style of dunga shorts, which are fabulous. What's your print today, Gaz? Um, it's my neighbour Totoro on a lovely rainbow background. Oh, they're <laughs> absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, are you looking forward to this craft along? Oh, I am. I've been looking forward to it all week. I can't lie. I've been watching the shows. I've been getting so much inspiration. Oh, well, so, I know that you've literally. already got this set, haven't you? And you've been creating already. Oh, I have. Can, I'm a, can, I'm, can I'm we a have a little look? Are you, are you going to show us a little? Can, can we have a peek at them oh, before on. we get started Go with on, the craft then. along, if that's OK? Come on, then. Yeah, of course you can. Oh, I mean, I, I, I love much. showing my, my mates off. I scared you to <laughs> death last time. So I make this lovely shaker panel. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I can get it to actually, oh, there we go. Oh, that's I can get so it to shake. lovely. There we go. Oh, I love that, with that's the, beautiful. With the house. And I've got the lovely Halloween one here as well. Oh, I, made. <laughs> I love that. Is that the use of that fabulous um, embellishment fibers? Oh my gosh, and how much is in that box and how far it goes is absolutely <laughs> yeah, insane. Amazing. <laughs> that is gorgeous, guys. I love that one. Have you got some more? And the, my absolute Pierre de la Resistance, <gasps> this one. Oh, oh, that I is a stunner. That. Oh, that is beautiful. That's right up Michelle Street. Oh, beautiful. More importantly, what's in it? <laughs> they are candy cane car uh, kisses from <gasps> Hershey's. Oh. So I literally filled the whole thing up. Oh my that god, is, is that going amazing. to someone special in your life, guys, or is that just something? Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, yes, me. <laughs> I, might, I might box it up and send it on to Michelle after I've eaten the candy cane. <laughs> oh, guys, it's all oh, honestly, I know we're in for a fun filled two hours. I know we are, and we will check in with you. <laughs> Uh, thank you for sharing and showing off um, your amazing projects, your amazing dunga shorts, and of dunga course shorts. your sense of humour as well. For, thank you for letting me, I really appreciate it, I can't you're, lie. You're very welcome, my <laughs> lovely. Um, so we're going to fire away, we're going to get started uh, with the craft along because obviously um, we've got a lot to cover in this next two hours. Um, so yes, absolutely. Before
Before we do, though, as always with anything, um, you may be tuning in thinking, what are the three-in-one creator cards? Well, they've been at the side of me all day. They really have. And we're going to start off with uh, the whole bundle, which is the, the three-in-one creator card um, showstopper deal. Um, literally a fabulous deal. And these, are, these aren't little dies. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break them down individually for you. Now, of course, our Michelle is um, using the Christmas sleigh for this particular project, uh, which I'm really excited excited about and they do create some amazing cards and some lots of as you've just seen with Gaza's amazing sleigh there that 3d project beautiful is all I'm gonna say that was a showstopper in itself but you're gonna get all the elements there to create lots of different styles that's the beautiful thing about our creator cards they create so many things and as I Michelle's told you it isn't a three-in-one it's about a 20 in one and some so absolutely fabulous with that fantastic sleigh. We've also got <clears throat> the haunted house. Oh my God, I love this one. Absolutely incredible. All of the details, all of the outside dyed, all of the extra embellishments to really get creative with this as well. So that's your haunted house that's coming in there. And then lastly, the very regal looking, rather um, cozy looking country cottage. The one that I'm gonna live in one day. I do genuinely mean this, I think. One day I will live in one. I, I love will. that. I love it's this gorgeous. one. gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Charlotte said, with Ben. <laughs> I think Laura might have something to say about that, the real Mrs. Hem. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, absolutely love this one. So that's all three. Now, this is a lot of metal for your money. There is a lot on all of these. And today, for £75 or $88, you can have this fabulous set. And the lowest price you'll pay if you're a Club Platinum member is £60 or $70.40. Now, we do have other deals as well, but we'll talk about that later on because I don't want to be bogged down with all of that today. This is a craft along. This is about getting creative. Um, and I know for a fact, um, I, I, I was blown away with your first one today. Aww. I was absolutely blown away with that one. Absolutely amazing. Uh, before we get started, though, we better do a few little hellos. Better not ignore anybody um, since our Victoria has been sending um, them through. Uh, guess what? <clears throat> guess who was first in the building? <laughs> Go on, Mr. Have a ben. Hey, of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. Um, our lovely Ben. Good evening, everyone. He's always the first there. He is supporting his wife. Do you know what? I think it's apps, honestly warms my heart yeah. it really does such a supportive husband and also beautiful partnership between the pair of you Aww. she's absolutely amazing ben creative our craft along queen and some because she makes the most amazing projects and then ben an amazing baker makes the most delicious things and then not only that your daughter what a voice she's got an amazing voice so very creative family because you know you've got two others as well and i know they're all creative as well so absolutely super talented family so it's lovely that he's here first thing. I love yeah. that. Um, Alicia Gordon says, good afternoon and greetings from Arkansas. Arkansas. Love it, Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> You've got to get that sass bit right. Um, uh, Danita Adams, greetings from Baltimore. Ooh, I love it. I love the fact that we get around. I really do. I think we're, no, we get around the globe. <laughs> we around do. that world, we do. Um, and so uh, Mary N says, hello, everyone. STS, hi from Florida. Kim Lusk. Hi everyone, Jean Prescott, good evening, Andrea Andres, hi everyone, uh, Mom King, okay, back for more today, I'm loving that you're joining us again, um, Carletta Morris says, hello everyone again, handcrafted by Gaz, hang on a minute. <laughs> Are we just seeing him? Are we just seeing him? <laughs> I love that he's still commenting. I love it. <laughs> says, good evening, everyone. Uh, Stephanie Theodos says, hello again, everyone. Lois, good afternoon, everyone from Ohio. Sheila Falconer, good evening, everyone from Sheila in Liverpool. Um, Lois is on a third show today, by the way. She's, oh. talk, talk, she's on a third show. <laughs> Mary Ann's on a second one. She missed watching the live. Um, Betty, oh, Be I'm sorry, Betty. Betsy, hello from from Houston, Texas. I'm on my monthly crop, but I had to tune in to watch you lovely ladies and my little brother from the UK, Aww. Gaz Dodwell. Yeah, one of, he's got plenty of American sisters, let me tell you. He's got a big family. Yeah. A big family of American sisters that are very supportive as well. Um, Kendall, um, hello everyone from Minnesota. Um, Hand Andrea says, I from Nottingham in UK. Our lovely Christine Mahoney's in the building. Hello, Christine. Hello, I'm working, but please say hello. And the best of luck to Gas is the best brother from another mother ever. 
Oh, my I God. Um, love to Debbie and Michelle, too. Have fun. Thank you, Christine. We will. And I'm pretty sure Gaz truly appreciates all of your support. Uh, Kareen says, looking forward to seeing my UK bro today. Gaz, Gaz, they're, at it. they're all at it. They're all coming in. All coming in, welcoming <laughs> you. Oh, <laughs> I think it's ace. It's I, lovely. It just shows you what a great crafting community we have. Yes. And no matter where you live in the world, to get that support from around the world yeah. and this communication, this crafty family, for me, sums up Crafters TV to at T. Um, and I love it. So keep that support coming in from Gaz because he's listening to every single word we're saying. Uh, Phila Watson says, good evening all. Um, Paul Prince times four says, good afternoon from sunny South Carolina. There's loads of people in, Michelle. It's still going on. Olga says, hello. I've seen all three now. Busy weekend for YouTube lives. Um, Tammy Barnhouse, hello from St. Louis. Lynn Morton, good, uh, good afternoon. Oh, good evening, sorry, everyone. Uh, Lillian Kwok, um, hello, Debbie, Michelle, the TV, TV crew, and everyone watching. Renee Kunznick, the list is going on and on and on. Um, it says, hi from Texas. Great to see Michelle and Debbie together. Love the last craft along and excited to see this one too. Um, oh my God, they're, they're going mad. Absolutely mad for you. Uh, Rosalind says, hi everyone. Gaz, your makes are adorable. Um, total lots of love for his outfit as well. Loving his makes. Um, I seriously mean this. It's going on and on and on and on. <laughs> so I think, I think I'm gonna just pause for a second and we'll come back to some of those co comments. Thank you so much to everybody who's tuning in and commenting. Um, it truly is appreciated. Um, and I'm honestly, seriously, we're blown away by the support for everyone, including for our lovely Gaz as well. Right, <clears throat> we've done with the yellows for now, but I will come back to some, so don't stop, keep them coming in. But we're gonna, I'm just gonna pause because I'm conscious, 15 minutes in, we've not even started. Michelle, tell me to shut up <laughs> and let's get over to our lovely Michelle. Um, right, so let's get started. I've got my die in front of me, but we're going to pop that to the side for now because we're going to create the card base first. So let's just pop that to the side. So I've used my double-sided Centura Pearl. I think it's the ivory. Again, you can be using any colour you want to create your base with. So what we're going to do, it's an 8x8, eight eight, so the first piece we're going to cut down to 8x8. Eight so I, using my trimmer, I love my trimmer. Um, it's my go-to, but if you've got your guillotine, that's gonna work just as well. So eight by eight, and then we're gonna cut another piece, eight by eight and a half. So let's trim that to eight and a half that way, and then eight this way. And what that does, it gives me that half an inch tab to attach it to um, my other piece. So just bringing in my scoreboard, which is so big I can't see it, right next to me. Um, so my big score, again, this is my go-to. Always, always use this one. I think because of the, um, the size of the projects that I make, um, this is the one I always go to. So we're gonna score this at eight inches. <coughs> And then that's my lovely half an inch tab. Um, pop it down <coughs> there. And again, let's just fold this half an inch tab. Bring in this. And again, I always, if I've got a small tab like this, what I'll do is I'll fold it under to score it. It just gives you a nice, neater score line. Um, if you pop it this way and you scar it, it just, I don't think it scars as nice. It's harder to hold it all nice and flat, but this way, because you've got the rest of the card on top, you get a lovely, nice scar. So I'm going to trim my corners. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just find it just makes it a lot nicer and neater. And then... It's a coated cardstock, so I'm going to use my um, tacky glue. Now, it, either piece can be the front or the back. Um, it's entirely up to you. But I always use the piece with the tab as my front because I can tuck it under and it sits on the front lovely. And it just looks neater for me than having um, that piece on the front. It doesn't look not neat that way, but just in my mind, I like to have that lovely, neat um, score line as the front. 
Um, so, and again, you can glue it over the back or you can have it glued under. Again, I think that's just a personal preference thing. Um, entirely up to you. So, popping my tacky glue on, I'm going to pop that over at the back. And then, oops, I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to make sure that I've got it all nice and neat and square. And then make sure and give it a good burnish. There we go. So again, just giving it that 10, 15 seconds to just to grab. And then let me just... So sometimes when you use a paper trimmer and you've got, um, it doesn't give you a rough edge, but it tends to, um, it gives you an edge where it feels like on one side it's, the edge is coming up. And what I always do is I run my bone folder over the edges and it just flattens that all back out and makes it nice and neat again. Nice little tip. Yeah. You know what I mean when you use a trimmer, mm. it just, it's not yeah. that it's, um, it's not jagged or anything, but I think we all know what I mean, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I it, know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, and, and just running that over the edges, it just flattens it all out nice and neat. Mm. So that's it. So that's my card base. So let's pop that to the side because we're going to pick a colour from our frosty and bright as for our matte piece. And I'm just trying to, there we go. So I'm going to use this lighter blue. So in that frosty and bright pack, you have this really turquoisey, greeny blue, and then you have the lighter colour. Um, on my card, you can see that I've used the more turquoise one. Um, so this card, I thought we'd go a little bit more subtle with the colours, or a little more pastel rather than the bold. So I'm going to pick this blue. And then I've picked this card, this piece of paper. Now, it... it it ties in beautifully. The reason I've picked this one is because it's got that lovely scene where I've got that house. Um, and obviously, you know, my card was the sleigh coming over the house. So that is why I picked that particular piece. Again, you don't have to, um, but I did because I just thought it created the most perfect scene. So again, bringing this out. So my initial card was eight by eight. So we're going to do go down a quarter of an inch to seven and three quarters to seven and three quarters. And again, let's bring that in, make sure I'm happy with that border, everything's nice and straight, and it is. And then what I'm gonna do with this is, um, I'm gonna cut a particular piece, so I'm gonna have space all around the sides. So I'm just gonna trim away the bottom to maybe half an inch, an inch below that house. And then I'm going to trim further to this side as well because I want my house to be on the bottom right-hand corner of my card. So just lining those two up, deciding where those two are first, and then we can um, go in with the rest and cut that down. So let's just bring that a little bit further over. So I've got some of my tree in. So there we go. So now I can judge um, the rest of it. So this is going to be a seven and a half. So let's bring that to seven and a half. And then that side as well. I want to trim that side down. So that's seven and a half as well. So even though I've had to cut pieces from all four sides, I'm still not going to get rid of those. I'll still be able to use them. But now you can see that my scene is how I want it. The tree down there and obviously the sleigh going up and over. So this is the Christmas chair. I didn't bring it in and show you, did I? I just went straight to using it. Uh, the Christmas chair, um, we brought this out with the other one. What was the other one called? Christmas chair and... Um, Ooh, do you know, I, can't, I don't think I've got this one yet, Michelle. That's why I'm asking, because I, I was looking at that colour thought, these are beautiful I love colours. this. These are beautiful paper pads. Um, this one is, it is very cheerful. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. All those stockings and those lovely scenes. Um, almost like a knitted jumper effect on the back. 
I just look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, but the reason I picked it is because I've got the ability to use that full scene. Uh, and again, if you've got anything else in your stash, then absolutely go for it with that one. So we're going to glue this together first before we create that um, part. So I'm going to use my tacky glue again because of that coating on the cardstock. And because we are going to um, put a cut right through the middle, you need to make sure that you've got glue um, everywhere. So making sure, obviously, again, you can be frugal with this. You don't need loads and loads on. You just need to make sure that we've got a nice covering over the, the whole of the back. There we go. And then pop that on. There we go. Oh. Just lift that up. Wiggle it into place. And there we go. And again, because I've got, I think it's when your blade starts to go just um, like it's ready, it's on its way out, needs replacing. Um, just before it starts to feather those edges um, is when you're going to sort of bring this in and it just flattens those edges nice. Nice and flat. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. would hope it flattens them nice and flat. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to leave that to dry for now. But what we're going to do is you're going to decide um, in a minute where we want to have that channel. So if you want one going side to side, you're going to cut a channel out of the middle. If you want it going up and down, you're going to cut your channel there. And for me, because we've got it going on that angle, that is where we're going to cut our channel. You can do this particular um, uh, style on anything. The me mechanism is always going to be the same, and it's a very, very simple mechanism. Um, so I want mine going up, so I know that it's roughly... And it, again, it doesn't have to be exact. Sort of from there to there. So I'm going to bring this in, and I'm going to pop it on. Um, so we're roughly maybe one and a half, two inches here, and from here... I want to make sure that it goes above my house. So again, not having to do any measurements, as long as I know that that's where my channel is going, I'm quite happy. You can see I've just gone above the house. Um, that's not enough. You definitely need to cut a little bit more out. So if you want to turn it over so you cut it absolutely straight, um, bring in your ruler and a pencil. And again, it needs to be roughly not even a quarter of an inch. We're talking about between one eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. It doesn't need to be too wide at all. So I'm just judging that by eye. Draw your pencil line um, <laughs> by eye, by eye, lass. It's a good old, a good old Yorkshire saying, by eye. <laughs> it really is. And then you can line it up there and there and make sure that you're cutting it absolutely perfect. Hold that down and bring that off. And you can see it probably is just that one eighth of an inch. It doesn't need to be much more than that. So again, let's bring in, we're not going to glue it down just yet, but popping it on the front there, making sure that I've got the same all the way around there and all the way around the bottom. Let's just adjust that. You can see roughly how big that channel is. Again, probably one eighth of an inch. And again, you don't need to measure that. Just bring it in your pencil um, and it's gonna sort of, just, um, just draw that line there. Then you know that you're sort of creating a straight, um, a straight, channel so again what we're going to do is i'm going to bring this in and we're going to cut this just the length of of the card for the minute and we're just going to score it at two inches um if you've got a big element like i have like with the the sleigh i'm going to cut this two inches wide if you've just got a smaller element that you're going to pop on there you can cut it a lot narrower um 
it, it doesn't really matter what it is, it's the actual mechanism that you are creating. Um, you can create this narrower or wider depending on um, what you're doing. So, we're going to score this at... Let me get a piece of scrap for you so I can show you what I'm doing before we go on to score it. What you're going to create is you're going to create this. And that is literally it. Because what's going to happen is we're going to fold those back. That's going to glue flat. And that is the bit that's going to go underneath your card. So you can see I'm almost making a table. So it doesn't need to be any specific size. As long as it fits behind your sleigh um, and your little table legs are long enough to fit underneath, then that's all that matters. So let's go two inches. And then um, an inch. We've got a question from our lovely Gaz. He's raised his hand, uh, Michelle. So okay just, just going to pause just for a second. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Gaz, I'm really that, sorry. Lovely? I got myself a little bit behind. No, it's fine. You ask away. This is your craft along as well as ours. I've got this far. OK. So I just need to know um, where I need to be cutting it at. Because so I didn't catch it. For him. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't need to be in any specific place. So if I bring mine in, what I did was roughly an inch to an inch and a half from this side. And then this side, I didn't measure it at all. I just wanted to make sure that it went above my house. But if I give Could you do, that please. measurement, at one side, we are an inch and a half. And the other side, I'm just under five inches. So one and a half here, roughly five and a half here. So five and a half inches down from there. Okay. And I'm saying roughly because you want to make sure, uh, you don't have to, but I wanted to make sure that it went, the cut went above my house. So that is one and a half on ah, the left. I see. Yeah? Yep, I've got it, I've got it. Got it. Thank trimmed, you. You trimmed off a little bit more, <laughs> didn't you? I did. When I cut that, um, when I put my cut across, so when I cut that in half, I then went, did you see what I did with this piece? How I, I put a pencil mark on the back just to cut an extra slither off. Okay, I'll, yeah. I shall do that. Fabulous, thank Okey you. Doke. No, it's great. And, and Gaz, don't you, li you literally, if there's anything you want to ask or want to pause at any point, just let us know um, and we'll stop and we'll pause and we'll rewind and go over a few little details. Because I'm conscious other people are joining us yes. as well. Yeah, other absolutely. people are, are doing this craft along with us. So, yes, absolutely. Of course, though, lots of people are saving it. I'll read some of the comments in a second yeah. and there is a few questions as well. Uh, but are you all right to continue? Well, I was or? going to say, yeah? would that be a good place to have a little absolutely. break? Absolutely, yeah. Gas yeah. can catch up and yeah, then I can absolutely. do the measurements for that. Yeah, absolutely, I can read some of those comments as yeah. well and ask some of those questions so that Gaz gives Gaz the opportunity to catch up as well. Um, I will just say there's a lot of few more um, uh, um, <clears throat> people joining us. Um, Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live granny, Love. is in the building. Um, and she's saying, sorry, uh, late to the party. Hello as well to you, my lovely. You're more than welcome. You're not late at all. We've barely done, you know, we've barely just started, so you're absolutely fine. Um, Stephanie Theodos says, glad Hubby is out playing golf. Nice to have a craft day all to myself with these lovely ladies, Michelle, Debbie and Gaz. Um, Lucine, hi from, hello, sorry, from Kissing Me in Florida. Just hello to my two favourite ladies. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Lucine. Um, Teresa Campbell says, hello, everyone from Peoria. Peoria? Is that how you pronounce that? Sound, I don't know where that is. It's got an I-L at the side of it. You'll have to let me know where you're from, because um, I can't pronounce it. Is it Illinois? Is that where it is? Could be, yeah, could be. Let us know. Odds 29, evening all. Looking forward to seeing this sleigh. Uh, Vera Kimmel says hello from Indiana. Chris Bertleson um, is saying hello, everyone. Cat Butts in the building. Hi, everyone. I love Michelle. Oh. So do I, so do I, so do we all actually. <laughs> um, she's put so clever, cannot wait for this. Oh. That's lovely. Pat May, love to watch, always watch you. You make any of the shows you're on so much fun. Um, Rosalind um, says, video already served. 
learned my lesson trying to craft along with Michelle. So she says the videos and then goes back to them. Uh, you do you do what you need to do when you craft along. You don't have to join us, craft along time start. You can if you want to. And I know there are quite a few of you that do that, but it is also nice to save them um, too. Um, Brenda Blacker says, we need to invite Gas to the studio for a triple act with Ben Craig. It will be absolutely hilarious. Totally agree. Uh, Mary, Smith, Mary Smith says, thank you for all the great tips. Um, Gwenda... And I said Gwenda Wee then. <clears throat> Sorry, Gwenda. <laughs> Gwenda Gee, I think that's how you say it. Uh, the paper reminds me of Hoville. Oh. I know. And uh, the, uh, Lin Lindsay uh, Tra Tra I just said it earlier, now I'm struggling to get it out. We said this earlier, <laughs> didn't we? Um, Travaskis. Uh, Lindsay Travaskis says, Sorry, which, which, can I ask which this paper's from, Debbie? And I think you said it was from the Christmas cheer? Yeah, yeah. Christmas cheer. Hold it up for you. There you go. Thank that you, one. Michelle. Thank you. So, Lindsay, that's where that paper is from. Uh, you head over to the website, and I'm pretty sure it's still on there. Uh, just go and have a little look. Although it might not be on Shop the Show, it'll be somewhere. Go and have a little type in 12 by 12 paper pads or type in Christmas cheer, and it should bring you to that one as well. Um, Eve B says, oh, I will have glue everywhere. Um, uh, Lindsay's also put on here. Can, can CC... Let's get this one, Michelle. Can CC make a competition prize, she says? A presenter to come to our home and we can make stuff and hang out using our stashes only, big capitals. Um, it would be a funny, would be a funny film for a craft along. Well, you never know. Stranger things. Yes. Stranger things. Um, Pat says, hello from New Jersey. Late, but enjoying the show. I really enjoy watching you both. Thank you very much uh, for that, Pat. And Ellen Patterson says, I've watched all day making Christmas cards with a whole Holy Night collection. Uh, my first Christmas collection at Crafters Companion UK. Um, Felicia Neal says, hello from everyone from Toledo or Tolo to Toledo. Oh, my God. Me and uh, Toledo, Ohio. Toledo. That's the one. That's, she's saying it in me, bless her. <laughs> uh, and Valerie Slee says, my first time on a live, amazing. Um, and Lindsay's put, yes, you've got it again, Debbie, with my name, well done. <laughs> I'm trying, Lindsay, I'm trying. I had one question, though, that I want to just ask, because I won't go back to it. Um, our lovely Hannah Gosling-Smith, who I believe is joining us tomorrow on the Graft Alongs, um, she's saying, I'm wondering if I can turn the gingerbread house into a haunted house. I've been thinking about that on and off all day. Yes, yes, yes of course you could. Um, even if you don't have any of the Halloween -y stuff, I can guarantee you in your stash there's going to be embellishment dies that actually you can take, put with that house and create it hauntedly. But even using all the gingerbread stuff, if you cut them out in blacks or reds or silvers or whatever spooky colours, it's going to look like a haunted gingerbread house with a real wicked witch waiting inside for you Hansel and love Gretel. That. Yeah. Love that. Absolutely fabulous. A great idea. Um, how's Gaz doing guys? Have we checked in on our Gaz? See if he's caught up? Oh, Hi Gaz. I've, I've just made I think the slidey piece I've just made. If, if it isn't the right one I've made one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to head straight back to our lovely Michelle. Um, and you could possibly recap on that last little bit that you just showed yes, us. Yes, yeah? yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to recap on it. So we've got our 8x8 card base. We've got those matten layers where we've cut a slither out of the middle. We pop them on here to make sure that we're happy with the border all the way round and this. It, it actually... Just one eighth of an inch is all it needs to be. But the reason that I um, said just draw a pencil line on the back is again, um, it's just sometimes you might find that bit easier rather than having to measure. So we've cut a piece of card off of our A4 sheet of paper, well card. Um, it's just, it's two inches wide. And what we've done, let me turn that over. What we've done is we've scored it at two inch and I've scored it at one inch. So two, then three. And then we're going to score it at five, then six, and then eight. And then I'm just going to trim that off. I'm just going to use my scissors because it doesn't need to be perfect because we're not going to see that bit anyway. So what you've got is two inches, one inch, two inches, one inch, two inches. And again, that it doesn't have to be specific sizes as long as it it creates that lovely um, table shape, then that's all that matters. Can you see how my little tabs underneath here um, yeah. are longer? They need to be longer because they need to sit underneath 
um, your matting layers and not pull out. So as long as they're longer, this is your ma mechanism that the sleigh is going to attach to. And these two pieces are going to be underneath. That's what you're going to glue your um, sleigh to. Ah, now, I get it. Yeah. Now, at these two pieces, I'm not going to give them a really good scoring. These two pieces I am. Because what we're going to do, glue this middle bit and then we're going to bring those two over. Now, the reason that you don't need to score this bit flat is because your card is going to fit in between that. And if you score that really flat, it's going to be hard for that to slide up and down with a really nice, clean, crisp score line. So just leave that as it is, because it really, really doesn't matter. That needs to be nice and not tight. So we're going to glue just in the side, in the middle, sorry, on that two middle two inches. And then we're going to bring these two over. OK. So you can see I've got um, a table. It's like a little it, table. Yeah, a little table. That's what you're aiming for. So pressing those down that way. Just allowing that time just to glue just to grab and again mine where I've just scored my line here it's gone a little bit wonky that absolutely does not matter it's going to make no difference effect or anything to your finished mechanism as long as you've got that shape there and these are folding back out it's all that matters so giving that let me give those two there, just a bit of a burnish. So those two are nice and flat. Those two don't need to be. It, it almost comes away a little bit. If you can see that, can't you? Yeah. It's not flush. Um, so that's it. That is your mechanism. We're going to, if I bring this in and show you. So again, I'm not going to glue this down yet, but that one is going to tuck underneath there. Oh, lovely. And that's going to tuck underneath there. So that's why it only needed to be a sliver. Yeah, and that's going to slide up and down. And you're going to be able to create this and do that. How simple is that? Just a piece of card like that, gluing that middle bit together. And that is your mechanism for any kind of slider card that you want to create. So we're going to pop that to the side for now because I don't, we're not going to glue that down until our sleigh is all finished, which is what we're going to do next. We're going to bring our sleigh in. Uh, and you can see huge, huge die set, lots and lots in here. But we're going to pop this one off for now. So that's going to create our main piece. And let's pop this one off. There we go. Let me just move that to the side. And then we're going to decide, let me pop my pin in. Uh, we're going to decide what colour base we want our sleigh to be. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this. So it's almost just an off-white. It's got like a hint of blue, like an ice blue, I think. So I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to bring in my pink for over the top. So let's cut the base first, just out of this. These have got to be my favorite Christmas colors. So pinks and greens or pinks and blues. I absolutely love them. So I've got my small plates here. Let's pop that on. Just going to tape it so it doesn't move. And then run that through. So pop that through there. So this is, they are going to go through your junior and it's also going to go through your midi. Um, I just happen to have any excuse really for me to use my Gemini 2. It's <laughs> sort of as simple as that. <laughs> so let's Pop that off very careful and pop that to the side. And then we're going to bring that pink in. And again, let's trim it down. That's a nice pink as well, isn't oh, it? This was one of my favourite card, uh, luxury card packs was the Frosty and Bright. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. So this time we're going to bring this one in as well. And we're going to... Um, pop those on together. Let me find my tape. 
couple of pieces. So just lining it up so it cuts evenly all the way round. Pop that there and then run this one through. So it, it's, um, that's the end of all the hard measurements. The, there's nothing else um, that we need to measure score. We just need to have fun now creating our yeah. um, sleigh. So pop those there. And then pop that out. Oh, just look how pretty it looks. I just... That looks gorgeous together. Yes. Really nice, uh, nice colourway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> right, let's get rid of this. And... Uh, bring in the rest. So let's pop that to the side. So we're going to bring in the rest of those dies now. And it's just about creating um, our sleigh. So I'm going to pop this one off because we're going to cut that out in... Um, see, I've got that sort of baby pink. Oh! But I've also got this lovely gold that came with it as these well. These are nice colours, Michelle. I like these colours. So, and th this is the hardest thing, picking which one I want to use. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go with that for that bottom bit. So let's trim this down. I just, I went bold. So what I love, this pack has got those bold pinks and turquoises, but it's also got sort of the baby pinks yeah. and blues in as well. So you've got the best of both worlds let's i think i'll read a couple of more comments if i can michelle while yeah I yeah those we just, cutting machine. yeah um more hashtag two i haul she says i was watching and not chatting but you're having so much fun with the gorgeous debbie and michelle i just had to join in how is everyone all is well in philadelphia oh Hello, lovely yeah i don't recognize your name more hashtag two so is, are you a newbie to us or have you been it's just when i've not been here it's lovely that you're chatting away and commenting. Um, Lucine Smith said she did a haunted house from the gingerbread house and posted it last month. Um, I saw that. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah, so um, absolutely fabulous. Uh, Shadaya says, video save Michelle. Hello, Fab Debbie and Michelle. Um, our lovely Mary, um, now I'm, I'm going to say, it's a bit like, do you know Christina Aguilera, that kind of surname, Aguilera Chandler? Oh. I might have said that wrong, and I do apologise if I have Mary, because she said, I'm definitely a newbie, so please bear with me. She's noticed a black line on the boards in the middle, meaning the scoreboards. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I think I have to own up to this one. Um, is that line on the exact halfway mark of the board, and did you use a permanent black marker? Because she's worried that the black marks will come on the paper when she scored. Is that the case? I've also heard that no question is a silly question. Laugh. Laugh out loud, she said, with a little winky face. You're absolutely right, Mary. Um, shall, we, shall, shall I own up? Is it because it's not yes, me? Yes, you <clears> can <throat> own up to that one. So, <laughs> on all the scoreboards up here, <laughs> I am an, I'm naughty for it. I, I do put a, I use a permanent marker like a sharpie, and I put a line down the middle of the board. So if it's on the centimetre side and it's the big one, is it 30 centimetres? I think it is. So I put it on the 15 centimetre mark. Yeah. And on the other side, now normally a board would come to you like this without a black mark on. Yes. Like what Michelle's just going to show you. Um, the boards that I use, <laughs> I've always got a black mark down the middle. Yep, and I on do, mine. Do, I do, oh, do, do, look at me do, now, do. Michelle, <laughs> now, now, come on, come on. I do, honestly, I was de determined not to do the doo-doos, <laughs> and now the doo-doos have come in, not once, not twice, but three times. Stop saying the word, Debbie. Um, but I do, do... <laughs> Do do do, and Isn't it's not a song. <laughs> <laughs> I do put one down the middle, <laughs> but definitely the halfway mark. Whether you've got the small one or the large one, Mary. So no question is silly. And when you've used a permanent marker, <laughs> so sorry. When you use a permanent marker, no marks go on it. You're absolutely fine. So any permanent marker, it'll stay put. It just gives you a visual, a visual in the middle of the board. So although you won't get one when you get yours home. Oh, I'm at it again. I'm going to say it. But you do, you, do, you, do, do, do what you want to do with your board is all I'm going to say. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Um, but Mary, you absolutely, there's no silly no. question, no daft question. And she's also put PS, you gals are, in big capitals, are you ready for this, Michelle? 
absolutely fabulous. Oh, thank you very much, Mary. Thank very you. kind. You're very kind. Yes. Um, Shania said that she's received these dyes on Monday. Cannot wait to try and try. To, wait a minute. Try to project Michelle. I think you mean try to co try to do the project that Michelle's doing. I think that's what you mean, Shania. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, trying to project Michelle. That's an unusual one, should I? Uh, oh. Absolutely. I can't wait to see what you create with them, my lovely, because I know whatever you do with them will be fabulous. And Pat, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your Pat. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Pat. It looks like Titan Demarest is what it looks like to me. Um, I just got the sli sly, sly dye, the sleigh dye, <laughs> and I cannot wait to use it. You are inspiring me so much today. Um, absolutely love those comments. And Lindsay's just actually put, why do you put those black lines on your scoreboards? Um, Lindsay, for me, I have to see like a visual um, center line so that when I'm doing the odd, the odd folds, you know, some of the card folds that we do have like a slightly angled fold. Um, it, for me, it gives me something that I can see really clearly. Um, so that's why I put the black lines down there. That's what I personally do. I have literally done it to all the boards up here, bar that one, so I don't know where you got that, that one from, That must be a new one. We'll have that to, must we'll be have a new one, because I am terrible for it, but it's just to give you that visual when you're popping it down, not on an angled fold or an angled shape that you want to line up. So if you're doing a, a diamond shape and you want to get a score line from the centre, having that visual line stops me from moving out of the track. Yes. And that's why I put them on there, and I'm pretty sure that's why you do yours as well. Yeah. Um, Sarah Stewart says, hi from Sunderland, lovely cards. Um, and you are making some beautiful projects there. And I can see, Michelle, that already is standing out and looking beautiful. It's quite, it's nice and delicate, isn't it? Everything I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I love soft pastel colours and I love bold colours. Um, I, I love just colour and card and glitter and pretty things um, but I'm quite happy with that I've got that lovely pearlescent behind the pink on the top and I've got this lovely gold so I'm going to pop that just there um, and then I'm going to bring in again we've got lots of these lovely elements so I'm going to pop my um, candy cane through and then we're going to use the presents as well and there's then lots on there, isn't there's there? There's so much on. There's swirls. I didn't use the swirls, but absolutely, if you want to use the swirls, use those. Uh, I'm going to pop that to the side because I know these are all the ones that I'm going to be using. And I've got that there. I'm going to keep that there as a visual as to what colours I want to use on here. So I'm definitely going to use lots of this gold. Um, so if I bring in this one again I've done the pearlescent card behind my candy cane and I've done the glitter on top so I'm going to do exactly the same but just with obviously these um, lighter colors so let's trim this down for those two candy canes now you might want to just cut all these out all at once um, I like to do it a stage at a time, so I'm just going to do my two candy canes first. I'm going to pop them there, I'm not going to glue them on, um, and then I'm going to decide what other colours I want to add. Um, so, yeah, I do this process a little bit different. Normally, you know, I go all in. But for this one, I'm just going to take my time and really decide on the colours that I want. So, okay, I don't need two on at a time. So let's bring that one in, but I also need that middle bit. So using this middle bit as well for the glitter, and we're gonna tape that so it doesn't move and pop it through. So this is probably where I would use at home my midi or my junior, because I'm just popping one or two through at a time to build up, up sort of my sleigh. Um, I probably use that because they're all going to fit through your mini, no problem. So let's pop that out. So let's take that off and I'm going to cut another one out in the same gold. And then we'll pop this one through. Stick that down and run that through. Um, oh, more, more hashtag two. 
<laughs> she says, Debbie, been with you for about two years and have the club inspire and bank account balance to prove it. <laughs> I love that one. One high, one low. I wonder which way around that is. <laughs> um, she says, but I remember Michelle's first show. A big fan of both of you. Love you two together. Uh, thank you for that, Mo. You know why it is? Why I probably don't recognise is because I'm not usually on this side. I'm usually on that side. Yeah. Um, so, um, but I love that. Thank you so much for that. And she dies says, Debbie, I think you were one of the first to put the line on the board. Great inspiration. My boards are marked and it helps a lot to line up your project. I am a, I am a little bit naughty for it. I did it in all the score at the Chesterfield store. Every single scoreboard in the class had them on because I just went down with them. I thought, do you know what? It's, it's our boards. That's absolutely what you can yeah. do. Um, one of my other boards, and I'll have to share with you, I might, show, I might send you a picture, you'll see just how many lines I've put on there. Because <clears throat> I've segregated it and made, made quite a few lines. Just, again, it's just, they're your, they're your products. Yes. If you want to see something visually, pop it on there. You're not going to hurt anything. You're not gonna, no one's going to tell you off. It's your, it's your, you bought it. So you make it work for you. That's my bitter advice. Uh, Lindsay's also popped on here. I love Debbie and Michelle together as well. Some people just gel together on screen better than other mixers. That's lovely. Thank Aww. you. Um, because I love the girl to bits. I've been a big fan of Michelle. Michelle's been with us two, he's two years now, isn't it? Two years on the 20th. I thought so, because yeah. I remember it was my mum's birthday. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think I was with, was I with you that day? Well, I did a few shows in August. That's right. Um, to see how I was went um, and I'd done a few of those shows and then we were sat outside there yeah. chatting away. Yes. We both ended up crying on the sofa. We did indeed. Because yes. I was talking about my mum, you yeah. were talking about your aunt. Yes, my auntie Jean. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Auntie Jean. Yeah. So yeah, we were sat out there crying in between shows. <laughs> <laughs> and we've gelled ever since, haven't we, love? Yes. Last cried and everything yeah. else in between. Um, <laughs> and it is, it's been lovely. And it's been lovely because it's not often that uh, we get to work together. We've literally been passing ships since then. So um, really lovely that we do. And thank you for noticing that because we, we are a big lot. We, we love each other. We're all, well, you know, a big family. Yeah. We're a big family and we love each other. Um, and a bit like Gaz with all his American sisters there that love him to bits um, we're a bit like that as well here so thank you for your lovely comments um, I'll come back to some more comments in a second because I, I am conscious we've not given anybody a little bit of a break we've been doing a lot of crafting up to now we have uh, so I, I thought know. what we'd do is we'd have a couple of little minutes just to catch up let our guys catch up although I can see guys at the corner of my eye I think he's doing amazing but I think it's time for a little bit of a maybe a tea break or uh, you know coffee or something like that go and grab yourself something uh, we'll be back with you at the other side of this welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze.
get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing, the messages I get are amazing. Me personally it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air, I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family hey, the things the things that go off in between those breaks <laughs> I've ended up pulling my dress Michelle's been doing selfies with guys in the background, been having a little chin bag. <laughs> but yeah, I love having those breaks. A little time to recoup and get up there. So I think we'll have a little catch up with our guys while we're at it. Because I missed out on the selfie. I was running, we'll busy doing do something again. else. Just needed to just, just go and have a little break somewhere. Ladies? Yeah. But I, mean, I missed that one. I missed it. So how are you doing, guys? I'm very well. I've, I'm keeping up quite well, actually. Oh, amazing. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. Loving your colour choices as well. Are you choosing the similar kind of colour themes to what our Michelle's doing? Um, I am, I think, but I went in the reverse. I put the darker colour on the back than what I did on the front. Ah, so. lovely. And I've gone with the nice sparkly red card because, you know, I can't out myself. I love a sparkle. Oh, I've got to love a sparkle <laughs> in your life. You've got to have a bit of sparkle in your life, absolutely. Um, are you ready to carry on then, guys? Uh, I might be. I don't know if we're going to be doing anything more with hinges today. Any more what? <laughs> After yesterday with Michelle, she was like, hinches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and when she was talking about the hat being upside down, that was pulling the sword of Gryffindor out in the <laughs> Chamber of Secrets, so you were right. <laughs> Every time I said inches, I went, hinches. You need seven hinches. I was, I was trying to be posh. It just sounded like a common person trying to be posh. <laughs> Put some pinches next You're to the to microwave. You're supposed to call me out on gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love it. I'm going to read a couple of more comments, Michelle, before we go back. <laughs> He's always a joy to have on this show, let me tell you. Um, so, Barbara R says, late again. Hello, everyone from N Indiana. You're not late at all. You can join us at any time. It doesn't matter whether you pop in, pop out. Um, Phil Watson, get this one. Are you ready, Michelle? These two... <laughs> <laughs> These two are the crafting, Craftings, French and Saunders. <laughs> present and demonstrate well and very funny. Uh, thank you very much. I'll take that compliment yes. to my favourite ladies. I absolutely yeah. love those. Um, should I say, well, I'll tell you... you I'll tell you, you today was a good day. Love all the projects today, and you girls are fab as always. And Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live, Granny says, you can never have too much sparkle. Um, so, absolutely. Barbara's, Barbara R is asking a question about tomorrow's craft along list as 12 by 12 Halloween paper pad. I'm not finding that pad in my collection. What would be a good substitution? Anything to be fair, All Hallows yeah. Eve, I think, maybe as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yes, Barbara, are any of the Halloween, did you get any of the 
Did you get the Aloe's Eve 12 by 12? Because that one's a good one. And I know there's the other one, the one we said showed earlier, uh, the Halloween yes. um, paper pad, the more gro I call it the more grown-up yeah, 12 by yeah. 12. Uh, maybe possibly that one as well. If you don't have anything for the craft along tomorrow, though, you can use any 12 by 12 because you perhaps potentially change it up a little bit yeah, yeah uh, and the and the theme but i'm pretty sure we'll be able to answer that question for you tomorrow because i have seen jan's projects we were looking at them yeah. earlier they look amazing so i'm looking forward to those as well however right now we are doing our craft along with our three in one creator card guys the details that you're seeing on the screen are for those people that haven't got them obviously we launched these a couple of weeks ago we always follow up with a craft along uh, project which our michelle is doing and going to take us through but for those that didn't we've held that that price that showstopper price of 75 pounds or 88 dollars uh, to get all of those three sets of so the country cottage the um, haunted house and the lovely christmas sleigh that our michelle is using but i'm going to stop talking because we've got lots more to get done with and um, so over to you michelle or should i say Home french or you. saunders which one are you <laughs> i want to be french because i love doing french i'll be saunders there you I'm, go i'm happy with that they're both <laughs> hilarious they though, are both they? hilarious ladies um, Right, so we're just going to carry on die cutting all of those elements out. I've got my two candy canes cut out and I've got the two glitter overlays. So I'm going to pop these together now. So I'm going to bring in my dotty tape pen um, for these. So on the top or on the back of that uh, glitter card, we're going to pop this. And then. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I've been called Dotty more than once uh, in my life. Would you believe? <laughs> I've no idea. I think I'm the furthest thing away from Dotty. So, just popping both of those on there. So, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, Dean's just said in my ear, Dotty. Sounds a bit funny, which is why I said I've been called that more than once in my life. But look. Um, uh, to be fair, I've been called cuckoo, crazy, off my head, um, <laughs> a, a little bit weird, and I relish them all. Um, how beautiful does that gold look over there? So I'm definitely, I think the gold glitter is the one that I'm going to be going with. So I know that I want one of those on there, and we're going to have one up there. So again, I'm not gluing anything together. I'm just building that scene up next to me. So I sort of know where I'm going. I've brought my mini in because I thought I've just got all these small elements that I'm die cutting out. It seems a waste to keep running my big plates through my machine. So I know next that I want a couple of um, presents cutting out. So I'm definitely going to cut one out in some glitter. And then I'm going to cut one out. I'm going to bring this in again because I'm loving this. Look at the sheen on that. That is beautiful. Isn't it? So I'm going to trim a piece of that down. And again, you might want to use your big plates and run um, these all through at once. But um, what I do tend to do when I'm building a scene up like this is I do it a little bit at a time. Because you can guarantee if I cut them all out, I'm going to decide at the end that I want something in a, in a different colour and then end up cutting them all out again. Which really, uh, you know, it doesn't matter that it makes no difference because if you cut them out and don't use them, you're just gonna save them for your next project. So running these through. So I love my mini. Um, I use, again, this all the time. It sits on my desk at home. I'm happy with that. Um, because it's just little sentiments, little dies like this, you're just yeah. going to use this, aren't you? Yeah. Just so, uh, quick and easy and convenient, but still getting the power of, um, you know, your electronic die cutting yes. machine, just in a manual form. Yeah, absolutely. So again, let's cut a bit of this glitter out and cut the bigger one this time in the glitter. Pop that through. And do you know what? I like using my mini because it's just so much fun. <laughs> yeah. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Let's <laughs> pop in that one there. Let's, oh, let's use a little bit of pink. I'm loving your colour theme with this one. Is this different to your original one, Michelle? It is different to my original one. It's the pinks, the blues and sort of uh, the golds, but it's the more pastel ones that I've used. Yeah. And it's all from that frosty and bright. You've, yeah. So you've got those brights in there and these delicates as well, which I love. 
So let's pop that through. I think it depends what mood you're in as well, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. at home, I went all bold and bright, and here I'm going a little bit more subtle and delicate. Um, so that's my presents. Let's, let me cut some bows out. So again, I'm going to bring in this gorgeous Can you make as many colour. as presents as you want, or have you got a set number? Um, so I've got a set number. I've got three here and three here, but you yeah. can have as many as you want. Um, and then I've got five cut that's coming off of the back, and then I've got a few um, just dotted at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, you can part. do as many as you want. You absolutely make it um, sort of really loaded with presents. Uh, let's bring in this picker's pick, this pink. Oh, I've got this as well. I forgot I've got that one. Let's cut some bows out in that. So pop that on there. Two of those. More hashtag two says so she's completely digging the colours, Michelle. Debbie took the words right out of my mouth. They yeah. are gorgeous. Um, Valerie's saying she's loving the soft pinks as well and lots of lovely um, heart pink hearts there. Uh, Jessica uh, Strop... Uh, no, not Stalker. Jesus. That's a, that's a different word. Wait a minute. Jesse <laughs> oh, Jessica Stricker. I do apologise, Jessica. Getting your surname completely wrong there. My eyes are letting me down yet again, Michelle. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, she says. Um, Anna Gosling smith This one's for our Gaz. She's popped. I decided I cannot compete with Gaz's Dunga shorts tomorrow, so we'll have to go for brightly coloured leopard print in honour of Debbie. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> oh, they'll be looking forward to that one as well. I'm really looking forward to uh, to all. I'm, I'm absolutely loving the idea of having a craft along weekend. I yeah. think it's honestly brilliant. It's Crafty inspiration. It makes a, a refreshing change from our normal. And normal shows, of it course. It does. It's, it is nice. I, I mean, I said earlier, didn't I? I absolutely love doing these. I just love... I, and I thought, I'd never, ever thought I'd hear myself say it, but I love the teaching aspect of it. Um, showing someone else to do... Um, create things. I think that comes when you've got the passion for something. I couldn't be a teacher in a school um, and have a class full of... Um, kids. I love kids, but not that much. <laughs> Do you know what? I take my hats off, my, all my hats, because I wear, obviously, many at once, but I take my hat off to anyone who teaches uh, children. Mm. Um, I really do. I think they are underrated heroes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, we'll look out, because... I mean, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, um, initials behind my name. Did you know that, Michelle? Have you? I'm an NNEB. I've got a diploma. Really? Yes, for nursing, nursing. I did it. So I work with kids. Ah. But the younger end, the naught to fives, and I love that teaching aspect there. But it were very creative teaching, um, which surprisingly enough, um, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm saying surprisingly enough, but absolutely no surprise to you is that um, I love that element of that as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I used to. I loved. I love working with kids. They are so. They see things from completely different, don't they? They do. They do completely. They different. do. Absolutely. I love it. The younger ones. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. Oh, they but, um, say the funniest things, don't they? Oh, they do. They, oh, I remember um, my kids being that age, and some they say things, and <laughs> it's like that was. Um, what was that programme? Kids say the funniest things, wasn't it? Yes. It was um, with Michael Barrymore. Michael Barrymore. Yeah. He used to have them sat on a chair, didn't yeah. he? And, and the he things that to, he used to oh. talk about, so funny with them. Because <laughs> such a natural, such a great show and a great concept. And uh, yeah, absolutely love that show. They do say the funniest things. They do. They do. All I'm doing now is I'm just popping my bows onto the. Um, presents that I've already die cut out. Do you think I digressed earlier, Michelle? Because I said you've been with us two years on the 20th. Hmm. Um, but you've been on the design team for about four, is that right? Three I three, was, four? yeah. Yes. I think all in all, I've been with crafters nearly five years. Yeah. Um, I was on the design team for um, a couple of years 
and then I did my in in star demonstrator training with Leanne and Louise, yep. Louise Welsh. Yep. Um, so I did that as well, and then obviously I, I was asked to come up here by the beautiful Brent. Oh. Um, so I've been officially with us for two years, but in the background on the design team and the training and. Did you get out to many demonstrations? Because I know it was just around... It was it, just, before, just, before. just before COVID. Yeah. So I didn't get to do many. I did um, maybe a handful. Yeah. I really enjoyed... That was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. I really? must admit. I was terrified my first time. I didn't... Because I said, uh, you know, I didn't feel like I was a natural teacher. Oh, but, um, I disagree. I disagree. I, well, that's what everyone said. They said that I was um, really good. They really enjoyed it and couldn't wait for me to come back so I must have done something right <laughs> <laughs> but are you yeah. here on the 20th or are you, are you I'm not no I'm not but I have made sure that I've collected pictures with um m most of of you guys so I can put a lovely post out oh uh, well, we're lucky to have had you for the last couple of years Michelle oh, thank you I remember being on the design team and I remember doing that Twisted exploding box yes. with the Christmas. Oh, I reached out to you on that one because thou, oh my God. Yeah, I, um, I did a tutorial on you it. Did. it. Yeah, next door when we were in the other building. <laughs> you messaged me. I did. You messaged me and said, I did indeed. Do you mind? So I literally saw your message come up on my phone. <laughs> Started screaming, ran into the living room, and, and literally, I'm going to my husband. Oh my god! Oh my god! And he was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And I'm like, "Debbie Robinson's just messaged me." And he went, "Oh my god! I thought something had happened." And I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> Best moment of my Bless life ever. <laughs> hey, it, was, it went down such a storm. I was asked to recreate it at the Craftaganza. So our yes. lovely Wendy who was with us earlier um, on the first craft along today. Um, went to the Eastern one, and we did. Um, I did like a, an ultimate pro little masterclass and also scoreboards and we did the exploding twisted box fair. Yeah. Um, but I credited you all the time, Michelle, because I love that project. But we just did it in different colours. The one that I did next door was the uh, gorgeous vintage Christmas. Do you remember that one? I do. Oh, oh I that was a paper pad. Do. Yeah. This is looking lovely though, Michelle. Yeah, so I'm going to pop these two um, sort of collections together. I'm going to pop these three here and I'm gonna no let's swap no let's swap that one put that Aww. there <laughs> so I'm gonna sort of glue these three together and then glue them through to get three together so I'm gonna use my tacky glue because I've obviously I've got that um, glitter on there and I need to make sure that that sticks so I'm gonna lift this up I'm gonna pop it there and then we are gonna we are gonna die cut another one of the sleighs out and we're gonna pop it on the back and then it's gonna um, encapsulate all these bits so it makes it nice and neat because you've got to remember when it comes up and it's off the side of the card you're gonna be able to see behind it so you don't want to see lots of um, glued bits and lots of mess so again let's I'm just gonna pop Decide where I want it. I'm going to pop it there. So I know that I just need to put a bit of glue across the bottom and up the side. And pop that under there. Stick that back down because that came up a little. And then this one's just going to go on the top there. I'm just going to tuck it under a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue just on that back there. Just lift, lift that up. I'm getting myself into a bit of a mess, but that's quite all right because I can place it back down. Um, and I've still got plenty of time for that glue to sort of grab. Because um, it's the tacky glue, but it's also gone onto that lovely, gorgeous glitter and pearlescent. It's just going to take that little bit longer to grab because, again, you've got that encapsulation of the glitter on top. So you've got that coating. It's going to take a little... Um, little longer but I'm quite happy with that if you find it easier to pop them together like this and then stick them underneath then we'll do it that way so let's do it that way this time let's glue them all together so let's pop this on here and then we'll pop that one just there 
So let's pop a little bit of glue just on the bottom here. And then lift those two up. And pop that just like that. It's entirely up to you how, how you do it. We all do it a little bit of a different way. Uh, my mum always said about me that um, I always find the most difficult way to do something and decide to do it that way. And to be honest, you know what, she's not wrong. <laughs> sometimes, um, sometimes you just do. You go all around the houses just to get back to where you are when you could have done it in such an easier way to start with. But it's looking lovely. So I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop that to the side and allow all that to grab. And I'm just going to use this. I think, yeah, I'm going to use this as, as my back, um, as the back of the sleigh. So let's find where my sleigh die is. It's here. Actually, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in with the front. So we're going to die cut it out of that. So I'm going to use my bigger machine for this because obviously this isn't going to go through my mini. Uh, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> So let's pop that on there and run it through. Uh, if you've got your junior, that's going to go through your junior, no problem, because your um, junior, it's going to go through your midi, because your junior plates and the opening are the same. Your junior plates aren't going to go through your midi, um, just in case that's what it sounded like I was saying. Right, let's pop this off. Just get rid of that. Let me um, bring my pokey tool in get rid of that tape there we go <coughs> oh, I can't get it off my thing there we go so what I'm going to do is before I glue this to this um, I'm going to cut a couple of strips of acetate um, I'm, I'm, I'm very lost in this now, so if, if at any point you think we're ready for a break, Debbie, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can read some more comments for you while we're catching up, because um, we've got loads of people more commenting. I want to read this one uh, from more hashtag two, who says, Michelle, you are so talented and I've really honed your new craft presenting and teaching us at home. I know you work hard on it and it shows. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it that is, is lovely. So Thank you, nice. Mo. Uh, Joe BV uh, says, can't wait to finish my ironing so I can craft along too. Um, Sheila Swift Heap says, I teach special youngsters from 16 to 19. I teach them maths, English, cooking, cleaning, health, and at times I manage to shoehorn in some crafts. My students are amazing. I'm so lucky. Um, Sheila, yeah, just a, such a rewarding job, isn't it? And absolutely, yeah. hats off to you, my lovely. Um, but it is lovely that you, you, you see your family your students like family it's lovely um, and she's also mentioned you're a natural teacher michelle personality and temperament count for more than teaching skills Aww. and that's absolutely uh, spot on and sts says yes i enjoy your uh, teaching michelle uh, crafting queen i use the waste from die cut shapes i've cut out either as a negative image a framed image by cutting die cutting squares circles etc round the design for other cards and to keep and use as stencils. Nice little top yes. tip there, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And Sue Benson says, good afternoon from Billings in Montana. That went a bit posh. Montana. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yes, so keep those comments coming in. Um, and all the love for lovely Michelle as well, because um, you are an inspiration, my lovely, and we are very lucky to have you on this team. Aww. And I genuinely mean that, because you're super, super talented. Um, so yeah, Thank and you. I'm, even though I won't be here on the 20th, because that's next, that's Wednesday, it's my mum's birthday. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's my mum's, because it's my daughter's birthday on Tuesday. Um, I don't know if you didn't notice, I haven't mentioned it many times, but <laughs> I'm going on holiday. I'm going for a little bit of winter, I said winter sun. Holiday? It's not really winter sun, no. but I'm going on holiday. Autumn sun. Autumn sun, yeah. <laughs> oh, hopefully, fingers crossed, keep, keep, just keep those crossed for a little bit of sunshine, just so I can go and relax. I'm going away for a little bit of an hour and hour time with my yeah. daughter, it's her birthday. Um, and my mum's birthday on Wednesday. Took her out last night, went to bingo. Oh. Had a game of bingo. Nice. She won. 
She brought the bingo duck, as I like to call it, because we've been going for years and she never won anything. Oh, okay. So she won last night, so I'm really pleased because it was a birthday. And I'm, yeah. uh, uh, being the good daughter that I am, I gave me a present <laughs> early because I'm away for a birthday. <laughs> it's a special birthday as well. Happy 75th birthday to my mum on Wednesday and also the second year anniversary of our lovely Michelle oh. uh, being with us at uh, Crafters TV. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a, a good one, but, yeah. She's yeah. going away to Coronation Street. Oh. She's going to meet one of the stars at Coronation oh, Street. Love it. And take a nice little tour around there. Yeah, yeah. I got the idea from Craig. Yeah. Because he told me about it. And I thought, oh, do you know what? My mum would love that. She loves the soaps. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. How are you going, Michelle? Are you okay? Right. Yes. So, the only other thing we're going to do, we're going to... I've got a couple more things we're going to do, and then we're going to have a little bit of a break. Um, I'm just going to cut two thin slivers of acetate. No particular length, so I've just got our A5 sheets, uh, and it's literally just a quarter of an inch um, wide. We don't want it too wide at all. So just two of those. Don't forget to remove your backing sheet before you try and glue it down, because I always tend to do that. I forget to remove it and then I glue to it and then it peels off because <laughs> of that backing sheet. <laughs> Good top tip though, Michelle. <laughs> I think we just forget sometimes, don't we? We do. Right, so what I'm going to do is, um, they, they don't need to be in any particular place, but I'm going to pop one there and I'm going to pop one there and they're going out that way. I think you can just see it on there, can't you? So just with some of my tape, just pop that there. Let's, because we're going to trim these down. If they're too long, we're going to trim them down. Um, so it doesn't really matter that they're that long at the minute, unless you want to put lots of um, presents on them. And then we're just going to glue these two together. So let's do that. Um, because you can see, um, you don't want to be able to see the back of that. We want it to be nice and neat and tidy. So I'm going to use my tape pen um, for this. So just going all the way across. I don't forget that last little bit there. Trying not to tape myself to it because it is incredibly sticky. And then let's just pop that over. Line that up. Just got a little wonky there. Let's peel that back, bring it down. There we go. So that's it. So that is my sleigh nearly done. I've got a couple of bows that we're going to put on, but I'm thinking time-wise, should we have a break now? Yes. Um, yeah. I think that, that's and then a great idea. We've got the finishing, yeah. finishing yeah, absolutely. touches. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's looking marvellous, Michelle. I am telling you, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'll read some more comments in a second. Um, we've got, though, a couple of little cheeky deals. Do you know, I don't know if I've mentioned it either. We've got an event going off over the um, website through this, uh, up till tomorrow, actually, which is the Spend More, Save More uh, deal. And there's lots of great deals. I'm, uh, I'm Michelle. Sorry, sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, Charlotte is just showing you. You can see there that lovely header at the top where you simply can get £10 off if you spend 50 50 pounds or 50 dollars 20 pounds off if you spend 100 pounds or 100 dollars or 30 pounds off if you are spending 130 pound or 130 dollars the codes are underneath uh, it's very simple to do to fall into there it's a is it say that again for me charlotte thank you spend save 10 or spend save 20 or spend save 30 depending on what you are uh, doing and all of these oh what's this we're going to what's that Oh, do, do you know I've not been on the internet for a while? I've not been onto our website. That looks really good. It looks so a bit sections. different on your phone, too. Yeah. I think it does, yeah, because I tend to go on my phone, so onto the computer. That looked really cool, that. Um, so you absolutely can go over and head over to the website and shop to your heart's content. And if you want to make them savings, do make sure it's today and tomorrow now, because that's the last day tomorrow. We've got a new weekday, uh, sorry, <clears throat> weekend wonder uh, that you guys were loving early, which is the Totally Tiffany desk made tote um, and, and an incredible price as well. So get ahead over and have a little peek at that one. Um, loads of deals, including this one. Now, <clears throat> I love this one. This is the, look at that, Michelle, look how, look how many I are there. Know. 12, 12 
that is honestly incredible. 12 of our tape pens, <laughs> and they're not just any old tape pen. These are our double-sided adhesive, super strong adhesive, 22 meters each, times that by 12. That's a lot of glue. Um, 38 pounds or 65 dollars I believe that is that right sorry Dean I can't see it on the screen I do apologize um, our 30 pounds 40 if you're platinum price or 52 dollars uh, which is an incredible price on some of our amazing tape pens I heard a rumor I don't know if this is a, oh I felt like banana rama then I heard a rumor <laughs> I, I, just lit, felt like banana. I heard a rumor um, are the Dossie tape pens back in stock? Yes. I was getting tagged left, right and centre. People messaging me to tell me that the Dossie tape pens were back in stock. Uh, which, thank you, can I just give you a little heads up? Thank you very much, because I put my order in and I made sure it wasn't one. <laughs> I made sure this time it wasn't the one. Um, I've gone for quite a few. Uh, so thank you for that. Head over to there for the Dossie tape pens. They're in stock as well. Back in stock. Always nice to hear that word back in stock yes. um, however we're going to take a very short break we'll come back to our lovely gas see how far he's uh, gone along and obviously finish off the last of this beautiful project and then you guys all importantly i've got to do a and we've oh, we've already had one by default because it was the craft along earlier but you've got a choice to make today i'm glad it's not me because there's going to be three to choose from um so we'll get that one underway uh, later on uh, but first of all here's a little bit more information about club inspire Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brea's misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG. Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi. Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends. Illustrators, classics and tri blends and color blends and glitter pens and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators and bellow box creators Stamping platforms, box of boards, lipid score and scoreboard Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card Craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats Guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays Mitre tools and binding tools and tow bugs, USBs Bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes Stamens, mailboard, flower form and foam I'll find markers, DVDs, felt with triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft nice for press, sparkle pots, centura pound and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water, reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate 
Pro and the rotating design board Otter, but first Pompendi, Yom, Sarah Signature collections And don't forget Discovery Kids Oh, and there's foam pads, think that's it One final thing, foam on a roll Foam on a roll I absolutely bloody love that song, Michelle. We were getting carried away. We were all doing the can can in here with skirts and everything going off there. Love that song, love that man. And I think Gaz was enjoying it because I could see him in the corner of my eye singing away there and having a little bit of rock going off as well. <laughs> um, shall we catch up with Gaz, actually? Yes. Shall we move over while, while I'm talking about the lovely man in question? I saw you moving Hello. away there. Were you, you enjoying that? You didn't see that? me doing anything. <laughs> that was a total lie. <laughs> How are you going? How are you getting on with the project? Well, let's have a look at this, shall we? Ooh! Oh, can we come in close, Charlotte? Let's have a little peek. Oh, oh lovely. It's, it's, it's I love that. I love the choice there. of colours, guys. I love those choice of colours. Yeah. Looking great. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Um, I'm loving this craft along. I know everybody else has lovely comments coming through, Michelle. I'm just going to say, once you're here, and, and get this, Gaz. Uh, um, Michelle, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You are the queen of 3D. Aww. We agree, don't we, Gaz? Oh, we do. Absolutely. Definitely. The queen of 3D crafting. That's, that's, I mean, I call her the queen of craft alongs, but absolutely the queen of um, 3D as well. And she said she remembers your first appearance on TTV like it was yesterday. I think we all oh. do. We all remember it. I and do. Said, yeah, lots I, of I was going to say, if you're years. French and Saunders, does that mean I get to be Joanna Lumley? Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah, uh, honestly, um, love these comments coming through. The love that's coming through for you, Michelle, is lovely. Natural teacher, uh, unique demos, absolutely beyond excellent. Would be proud to display them in my home, says Sue Benson. I think we can all agree with that, can't we, guys? She's a, oh, a lovely teacher. Oh, we can. Teacher. And I've, I've, um, I actually requested to do a craft along with Michelle because it is Aww. something I have wanted to do. Since, since the beginning and it's not like I'm just going around collecting presenters and doing craft alongs as well so <laughs> <laughs> the question is who haven't you done one with yet um Craig Jan and if we're going to say it as well Leanne and Sarah because well of course that would be, yeah. of course know, that would be the ultimate <laughs> Is that the bucket list? Tick off, tick off, and tick off. All yeah, the I'm just, I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. I'll get there. <laughs> of course, the lovely Jan is in the building tomorrow as well with a couple of craft alongs. You missed that one, but you can't have it all, guys. You can't have it all. <laughs> Well, no, I'd rather have Michelle, that's all I'm going to say, oh, I would. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look, she's, she's like this. She's like she's this. Like, you, I'm made, you made her feel a I'm million great. dollars. I'm wonderful. <laughs> Love me. Everybody adore me. Yeah. <laughs> Behave yourself, Cass. Behave yourself. <laughs> right, we're going to carry on. We'll come back to you at the end, Gaz. Uh, you keep okay. practicing. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him to bits. Um, Ellen Patterson's asked a question, Michelle. She wants to know what acetate are you using? Um, it's our A5 uh, packs. So it's like um, just the small packs. Any acetate that you've got is going to work absolutely fine. Um, but ours are those smaller packs. I think... They might be out of stock at the minute, um, but we will be getting those back in soon. But if you've got if you've got a holographic, um, you, because I'm on, you're only cutting some thin strips off, you're going to be able to get some thin strips actually. That because we've got the Halloween holographic, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. But if you're cutting some thin strips, it's not got, you're not even going to be able to tell what's on there. So if you've got any holographic or anything, because it's such a thin strip, it's not going to make a difference anyway. Yeah. And also, you could be using, it while you're waiting for it to come back into stock, the packaging. Do you know the inside of the packaging Absolutely, with your dyes? Absolutely, of course. Because yes. I always trim mine down and I have, like, little slivers of acetate, so I put them in 
I call it my little acetate bit box. <laughs> I've got a bit box all over the house, I'm telling you. Uh, but I take the packaging and I trim yeah. it down so it fits back into my packaging yeah. until I decide to then store yes. it. Um, so you could use your packaging that you get inside with your dyes. Yeah, absolutely. Use some of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to read a couple of more comments. Um, Sharon Horn says she absolutely is the colours on this are beautiful. Uh, the pink looks so fresh. Uh, Shadaya says, I was not going to buy... Just remembered I had a few things sitting in the wish list. So I just checked out all of the three in one creator card dies and other big bits. Thank you for the savings. Because, yeah, that takes you over the uh, £50 or $50 mark. So absolutely, you're going to get £10 off that on top of your Club Inspire as well. Yeah. So because it comes in at um, £60, so that brings it down to 50 here in the UK. And the £70.40, uh, $70 we take it down to $60.40. So you absolutely could take advantage of those extra savings on anything across the website as well. Spend more, save more. It's a lovely event that we're doing here and we'll end tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> Susan Griffith says, the colours are gorgeous, Michelle. The sleigh would look lovely as a Christmas store anger name for a little girl's bedroom. Oh, Love that one. Yes. That's fabulous. And Lindsay said, she's colouring my penguin on ice. Obi brings in a cup of tea. Uh, and guess what happened? Went all over my desk. Oh, no. no. A tsunami with a tea. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, she says, thank God I saved my penguin. Oh, just. Good. Just, oh, it happens to us all, as you've seen with our lovely Michelle <laughs> in the past. Um, Sharon Owens asked a question about are the extra permanent tape pens different from the regular tape pens? They're the same. It's just that we call them, it's like um, extra permanent. They're just the double-sided strength. It's the, yeah, it's the strength. Yeah. So that's, that's for the same thing. Apart from the dotty ones, because obviously they're dotty for the intricate ones, uh, Sharon. Um, should I say, Gaz, do you think you could keep up with Sarah <clears throat> on a craft along? That's a good She's one. A speed craft. Is he nodding his head? Is he saying yes? I can hear him in there in the background. <laughs> oh yes, he says. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, and Ellen Patterson always says, "Will the eat resistant acetate work?" Hmm. Oh, that's quite thin, isn't yeah, it? It's quite it's very thin. I don't think it would. I wouldn't have. Bit, no, it'd be I a bit flippy that. floppy. I think you. I think. I think I think your presence would be a little bit wibbly wobbly. Yeah, just a bit too much, yeah. So we would say uh, we would say no to the heat resistant one. Yes. And then Sheila Swateep says we need to see guys more often. Is a joy. Is an absolute is. joy. Is a, is. Is, a, is, a, is a delight. Uh, right. <clears throat> We're going to head over. <laughs> We've got 20 minutes left. We've still got lots to do as well. Um, so I'm going to stop talking. We're going to head over back to my lovely Michelle. What she does so well, and that's that teaching side. Oh, thank you. Right. So what we're going to do. Um, is we're going to put this card base together so making sure that it's got my side fold so I know exactly where it is um, I'm going to turn this over and you're just going to glue round the outside if you want to use your red liner then absolutely go for it but you need to be very careful when you pop it down you need to know that once it's down it's down so you need to be popping it in the correct place um, so I'm just going to run a strip of tacky because it is that pearlescent card just all round those edges and I'm going to pop it down so I'm going to bring this one in before I really stick that down make sure that I'm happy with where I've popped it and I am so let's stick that hold the line caller <clears throat> we've got a question from our guys sorry does that include the edge where we're going to be putting the little slippy bit in this edge here. No, don't, don't, that, don't glue that like a U shape, just round the outside and the top. Right, that's fine. As long before I went and did something completely stupid, I thought I'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that definitely, definitely worth uh, just putting in there. Uh, definitely, yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. So you're going to put a strip of glue up <clears throat> there, across there, and down there, because we're going to pop this underneath here, and it needs to be able to move. So what I'm going to do with this is, before we glue the next bit on, we're going to pop this underneath. But this needs to make sure that this is nice and stuck. Um, this is only going to go so far. So what I'm going to do, because when I'm sliding it under, can you see how this is going to get to the edge a lot, um, a lot quicker than... So when my sleigh's on here, what I want to do is I want to be able to bring this up as far as I can. So what I'm going to do is these two tabs under here we're just going to trim the corner away on both sides so trim the corner away there can you see what i've done flip it over and trim that corner away 
So your two table legs come to a point. So what that, what that does is when I bring this in, actually rather than it stopping there, because I've got that square, it's gonna be able to go a lot further to the side. Does that make sense? So when I pop that under now, I can ah, get that a lot yeah. further across than if I'd left it square, it would only come that far. So we need to leave that one under there. And we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna glue just round the bottom edge and the sides, not across there. So pop in just a nice strip down there. Nice strip across the base and then just there as well. And when you pop this on, we're gonna to have to pop it in there. So over that bit, but underneath that bit. So we're gonna pop it under there and stick that down. So I'm concentrating now, because I need to get it straight. There we go. So it's... Even with your tacky glue. Yes, yeah, yeah that's it. <coughs> so you can see how that moves beautifully and I can get it closer to the side. Now I've trimmed those legs. Yes. So let's make sure that that's nice and stuck down. And then this is where we're gonna glue it on. You can glue it on however you want. As long as that's covered up and you're not gonna see it coming out, that's all that matters. So we're gonna place that into the middle and I'm gonna pop this on here because when, um, when it's in the middle, I want that sleigh right in the middle of my card. I can lift it a bit further up if I want to, bring it a bit further down. It's entirely up to you where the placement of the sleigh is for you. So again, we're gonna pop tacky glue on there and I'm gonna pop my sleigh there and I'm gonna hold it down. So I'm going to pop that to the side just while that grabs because I want to die cut a few more um, presents. Um, I'm going to cut a few at a time now, so I'm going to bring in my bigger plates um, just so I can get enough cut out before we finish. So let me bring in some of this. Pop that on there and I'll bring in some of the pink as well. So let's pop that on there. Put a couple of my presents on and a couple of those bows. And then I'll run it through. Just want to be a, a little bit quick now. I want to get my presents on um, before the end of the show. So just giving that another press down, making sure that it's got good contact and it's gonna um, cut out lovely. Pop those there, because I want to bring in some of this um, gold oh, glitter. <clears throat> so let's pop, again, both of those presents on. I'm gonna pop on both of those bows and I'm gonna bring in my two snowflakes. I'm gonna pop those on as well. So let's run this one through as well. And let, oh, that one slips a little bit, but that's all right. I've got a couple of other bows anyway. Bring that out. Right, so let's take those off. And pop those out. I've got a couple of pink, a couple there we go. Just give it a wiggle. Presents, lovely gold. And you can see, even with the glitter card, how beautifully easy they cut through and pop out. There's something so satisfying about, because can you hear that, um, that glue, that encapsulation on top? When you peel these out, there's something so satisfying about that. I'm gonna bring this in. I'm going to pop a couple of those presents on that top one, sort of tumbling out. So I'm going to judge where that I, I want it and I'm going to bring in 
my tape pen. I'm going to pop a little bit of tape on there and pop that there. Let's bring in this one. Um, have it toppling whichever way you want. Um, again, your design, let's bring that that way. And then because I don't want more than two on that top one, I'm going to trim that down. If you want more than two, then obviously carry on adding them on. And then let's bring this one in. So again, just deciding whereabouts on the acetate that you want them to be. I'm going to bring that one down a little. Gold one. And then that one. Oh, it's got, it looks like it's got bunny ears. <laughs> and then this one right on the end. I love the idea of the presents tumbling off firstly. Yeah. Like the floating midair, like yeah, they're falling yeah. off there. Absolutely. So now, except that's going to get caught on there, but it's because I've got it flat. So if I stand it up. Yeah. Um, and do it, it's going to slide oh, up and down so absolutely nice. beautifully. So the only thing other, oh, I've got enough time, haven't I? Yeah, got a few Let more leaves, that yeah. up. I've got a couple of bows. I'm going to pop a bow there. I've got, oh, I've got these. I haven't, I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to manage enough time. To get the other presents To get the, the presents on the bottom. But all that is, is three presents cut out. I've got one on one foam pad one on two and one on three. So I've got those multiple um, levels going on yeah. there. So a little bit of dotty for this one. Let's pop that there. Bring in my little snowflake. I'm dotty about the dotty tape pens being back in stock, Michelle. I'm not going to die. I I'm know. I'm absolutely crazy. I love, I love our dotty tape pens. They're game changer. Uh, for all of your lovely um, intricate die cuts. I'm loving these they little really finishing details. Oh, I, I love doing things like this, really building up a scene. It's yeah. just so much fun. So for time, I'm using my normal tape pen um, to stick onto this uh, glitter. I'm, I don't really have time to wait for my tacky glue yeah. to dry. Not that it takes an incredibly long time, but while, while, when I'm trying to get everything finished, it takes a little bit longer than I'm wanting it to. Loads of people saying this is beautiful. Helen Patterson says it's beautiful. Pat says it's just beautiful. Jeffrey says outstanding idea from Michelle this weekend. She's a keeper. Perhaps she deserves a pay rise or an extra paper pad or so. I love that one. <laughs> um, Ellen, Ellen also says this has been a fabulous day. So educational. Thank you so bo uh, to both of you so much. I've done nothing, Ellen. Michelle's been doing all the creative stuff. I've just been standing here watching <laughs> how fabulous. Um, her makes have been today. Um, lots of lovely comments coming in. Um, just honestly, it, and, and Sharon Horn said, Gaz has been a breath of fresh air. What a lovely <laughs> comment to put there, Sharon. He is. Um, but yeah, loads and loads of lovely comments still coming through. Um, keep them coming. We've got a few more minutes left of the show. I can't believe the day has nearly gone. It's, it's flown so by. Quick. So Absolutely flown quick. by. So I think, because we've got a vote to do, haven't we? Should I leave it there, do you think? Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot about the vote. How can I forget <laughs> about the vote? I've just been saying to the guys about the vote. Um, absolutely. Shall we do the vote? Do you want to put that one in that you're doing or do you want to put, put your unfinished one? No, I'm happy one? to put this one in. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So we'll start with number one where we started today. And our lovely Michelle made this fabulous little... You're going to use it as an address book, aren't you? Yeah. Um, using the mini memories and those page tabs. So And that was with the Halloween card uh, paper sorry, from earlier on. So that's number one. Number two was, of course, the first of the craft alongs. Oh. <laughs> Do you know now? Watch it. I'm like, oh my god, I love this. It's so <laughs> cute, and I love, I love the little twist and the little. Tip. I just think it's absolutely incredible that one. Uh, so that is vote number two, and then lastly is our. Oh, I mean, this, this is a tough one. Um, lastly is our gorgeous number three of our lovely floating. Um, sleigh is absolutely beautiful. That Christmas sleigh there is divine. So it's three, it's two, or one. 
you decide. Um, I think it's going to be incredibly tough, and I'm glad I am not deciding. <laughs> I have a personal favourite, but I love them all. I love all your makes today, Michelle. They've been beautiful. I think um, it's time to uh, catch up and say our final farewells to our lovely Gaz, who's joined us today. Gaz, how have you got on with yours? There you go. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I love oh, that. Perfect. Yeah, it's a little fabulous. bit floppy, but you know. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Have you enjoyed it, Gaz? I have had an absolute blast, as I always do. Aww. And, you know, I, I, I'll say it again. I've said it before. Since be before I found this community, I really was um, very lonely. And I've said, you know, I work in a very high stressful job. This company has brought me people that have supported me so much and go on to support me as well. And that includes, you know, like yourself, Michelle, who do take the time out of their day to respond to the messages when I do talk. And, you know, it is, it's an absolutely fantastic experience. And I have been shopping with CC for nine months. Oh. I have 10,000 points. Oh. <laughs> I have to take I have to I have to take a, a promotion at work so that I can continue funding my habits. <laughs> Oh, guys, thank you so much. Honestly, I can't tell you are a breath of fresh air. We've lo we love having you on every single time. You put a smile on everyone's faces. And um, you literally are the reason why we love doing what we do. Uh, because of lovely people like you who join us, who comment, who regularly watch the shows. Um, it's not just about the products. Of course, the products are fabulous. We love them. We, we all do. Okay, I'm are. passionate about them. But it's, <laughs> it's what it means beyond that. Um, and crafting for me... <laughs> Um, is exactly what well, I've just summed it up. It's it, you know it takes you into a place. You love what you do. It's clear to see what you do. Um, you love crafting as well, and to have oh, that I support do, yes. from all those lovely people, I think, is just fabulous. The love that's been coming in for you has been lovely as well. I hope you can go back and read some of those lovely comments oh, I when can. the live uh, finished. Uh, and I've been trying to keep up as much as I can. And, and you know, I, also thank you to everyone in the comments because you've all been absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Gla uh, Glass, Glass, I'm giving you a new name, Gaz. <laughs> Gaz you can call me whatever you like, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> it's been <laughs> lovely as always to have you on the Craft Along. Uh, please do join us again very soon um, because we oh, love having you on. You're a joy and a delight as always. Um, and keep Thank being you, honey, because we love it. And she's coming in very oh, quickly, so we don't have to do another <laughs> switch, split screen. So it's just to say a lovely goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, I will. Thank you so much. Seriously, you're a joy. Seriously, oh, my God. Thank oh, absolutely. You. No, seriously, thank you so much. Oh, don't Honestly, go on the <laughs> Don't you start because you'll have, us, you'll have us both going. We're both no. emotional wrecks at the best of times. <laughs> right, so thank you so much for joining us, guys. We yeah, truly love you to bits. Yes. All right. It's, been, it's been an honour to be with you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful night. Oh, thank Aww. you. Thank you. Oh, my I goodness. I know that. I need I know. to fan down. I, I need to fan down. The stinging at my eyes. <laughs> uh, no right, more. Are, are, are you ready? Are you Ooh, ready? Yes. I've got a vote. I've got a vote. A winner. OK. Um, it's a good job you've moved from over there, actually. Oh, is it? <laughs> because, because it's number two. Aww. Number two has won demo of the day. And I'll tell you what, um, your makes have been outstanding. Don't get me started, because I can see you. Can you see Seriously, it? Seriously, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking blubbering wrecks again. We will. Um, but seriously, beautiful project. And Thank I'm you. so glad I don't have to choose what is going to be the winner uh, this week. Um, Thank you for all the lovely comments. We've had them. You can stay here. Don't go anywhere. Stay here because um, it'll seriously mean this. We love what we do here every day. We've loved um, bringing all this inspiration. Michelle, you've been an absolute delight, as always. And <laughs> so lovely. So lovely to work with her because I swear to God, we don't get to see... I don't get to see each no. other. We talk lots. We, we do. We message lots. Yeah. But to get to actually work together has been a joy and it has been a lovely day. I've really enjoyed it. I know. We're going yeah. back to house, though. Yeah. We're not, we're not getting too over. We're not over just yet. <laughs> Because we're about to ask, we'll cry later. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so thank you so much for all the lovely comments. The, the love for Gaz, the love for you, Michelle, and myself and the team has been lovely. Um, so I will say a very good, but well, I'm saying a big shout out to everybody who's joined us. So that's yeah. our lovely Dean, our lovely Charlotte, James in the background. 
Rachel from earlier on, um, and of course our Victoria from tonight. Um, so the lovely Michelle as well, to so lovely Gaz um, from tonight, from Wendy from earlier on. Um, are you ready to do it all over again tomorrow? Because I'm going to be crafting bestie. Jan. We started the journey together seven years ago, over seven years ago. Um, we've got two craft along from Jam. Oh, honestly, we're in for a real treat. So we've got 11am um, here in the UK, at 6am Eastern Time, 5am Standard Time and 3am Pacific Time. I know it's early, but Nana Jan's back in the building. Nana Jan. You know, Nana Jan, absolutely. And she's going to be creating some amazing things. Um, so honestly, it's going to be fabulous. Um, it's a Halloween nesting dyes and gift bags for the first one, um, shaped cards for the second one, which I'm really excited. And then, of course, Second Chance Sunday. And I'll tell you something, I'm glad I'm not having to pick out of all those this week so far because it's been amazing um thank you to everybody we absolutely love you all to bits please do join us again tomorrow for another fun-filled day you've got myself as well on this side and our lovely delicious Jam back debbie in the oh i like that one i think i'll take that yeah. one <laughs> I, think I, yeah, I think i'll take that one uh, so thank you very much to everybody we'll see you all again tomorrow for another day at crafters tv bye for now